Hi, this is Mike Haber. Thanks for asking me what happens if I'm charged as an MIP, a minor in possession, but I live outside of Florida. The good news is, if there is any, that virtually all of these cases are handled by way of a paper arrest, and rarely does anyone actually get taken into custody for being a minor in possession. This means that most MIP cases, nobody will be physically booked into the jail, and you won't be released on conditions, bond or otherwise. So if there's no conditions of pretrial release, then you don't need anyone's permission to leave the jurisdiction of the court. And if you hire Haber PA, 99 out of 100 times, I'm going to be able to keep you out of court on an MIP charge. Incidentally, this holds true for most misdemeanor offenses in the state of Florida. I'm going to file a formal motion to proceed in absentia to keep you out of court, and I'll prepare and email you paperwork that you can print, have notarized, and return to me that's going to allow me to appear in your absence in court. I'll invoke discovery, meaning that I'll demand to see all of the evidence in your case. I'll inspect and I'll levy any appropriate challenge to the admissibility of any of the state's evidence. I'll assert any defense that applies to your particular case, and I'm going to use all of my skill and experience to beat your case, including taking full advantage of any law enforcement failure or any loophole that may present itself. When it's all said and done, and if you both wish and are eligible to do so, I'll also seal and expunge your record, and once again, I won't need you to appear here in Florida court. Thank you for your question. I appreciate your having asked it, and I invite you to ask me more. Please remember at Michael A. Haber, it's all about reasonable doubt. And if you like this video, please subscribe. We'll be putting out more soon.